Hello everyone, it's Brittany from The Pretty Plus. I'm back. Same spot. Same thing pretty much. Um, I just recorded my February 2021 budget review. If you haven't watched that, I would definitely check it out. I spent a lot of random money and I got more money, a lot more money in than I thought that I would. And it was an interesting one, I'd say, because I actually spent dumb money. A lot of money. Anyway, um, this is my March 2021 budget with me, my budget overview. Um, nothing crazy here. I'm trying to like scale back this time. Oh crap, give me just a second. You guys almost got a sneak peek at like our actual finances, like everything, like 401ks and all. So I had to block that out. But um, anyway, I'm scaling back this month. Um, we don't have as much money coming in, like random money. Uh, what else? We, yeah, there's just not as much going on. Um, I'm not doing any crazy stock ups this month. Um, yeah, so I'll just go ahead and share with you. This is a pretty average month for us, I'd say. Um, mortgage and car and phones and internet. Are all the same like every month mostly 680 for mortgage 360 for cars 166 for phones 65 for internet as long as I remember to call Comcast and make sure that they get a change back um, I budgeted 225 for gas and electric um, it's been I think it was 250 in January 230 in February, so I'm hoping that March can be just a little less. So I budgeted two twenty five. Five hundred dollars is what we've budgeted to pay for April's daycare. Um, we pay that all at once, easy that way. We don't have to think about oh, did we pay them every Monday? We just pay the first Monday of the month, and it works out very well. Um, let's see here. Actually. Here's another thing. We pay on a credit card that gets us 2% cash back. So we get 2% cash back for that. And then um, my job actually gives me 15% cash back. It goes on in my paycheck, so taxes are taken out of it. But we get some money back um, as long as I make sure to submit the receipt, which I always, I've never forgotten. Um, and, yeah, we pay that, like, we pay off from our credit card as soon as we get it but it's still nice just to have a little bit of extra cash coming back from those things if you're daycare if you're responsible with cards um if you're not just don't even try but if you are and you do use a cashback card that's something to think about if your daycare accepts that um our online subscription is hulu it's twelve dollars uh budgeted Oh dang it. Two fifty is what I have budgeted for um groceries and household. I meant to change the two fifty uh the car to two seventy five, so I'll do that when we're done. I don't want to do it now because I'll mess some things up. But um two fifty is what we budgeted for groceries and household this month. Um Budgeted nothing for Joey and North, and I think I need to change that as well because I think that Brett's going to need to get litter for them, I think. So I may change that too. <laughs> um, Medical bills. I'm only paying $200 this month. We're, like, kind of tight in there. I may, I, I, I can pay what I what I want to pay every month right so I've been paying 300 that will get us like fully paid but the thing of how insurance works out is that every time I go to my doctor for my um ultrasound um for the twins it is costing us out of pocket like a thousand bucks so I, I hit my deductible for my insurance in January so paying this extra um, goes directly to the doctor, but they still do take insurance for that. So I'm pretty sure that anything that I've paid to the doctor is going to end up just coming off of my bill. And that's why I've adjusted a little bit. So I still have paid 300 every month 
besides this month. Um, but this month's a little tighter, and I'm going to wait until the end of the month and see how that goes. I may just not pay anything toward it this month. That's my prerogative. <laughs> so I will see what happens. But I'm that bill, I, this happened with Clara last time, is that I it was paid totally by insurance. And the extra that I had been paying toward it every month just went to my balance. And we have other places we could put that right now. So 200 is what I have budgeted. It may do 300, may not do 200 at all. I don't know. But 200 is what I budgeted. Zero dollars in debt payments. Budgeted $50 for a restaurant. We've seen me do this before, so hopefully we can stick to that. Um, 275 is what I budgeted for gas. Gas has been more expensive. We both have bigger cars now. And 279 is what we did last month, so I budgeted 275 this time. We will see. <laughs> Allowance of $80 gets sent to us on the first day of the month. So we've already gotten that because it's the first. Um, so then I have some sinking funds. So we save every month to pay our auto insurance. $115 is what we pay every month. Um, and we get a discount if we pay once per year. So we pay in November, so we'll save all the way to November and then it'll reset. Um, we'll pay from our sinking funds. We'll just all have, have the money there already. Um, travel sinking fund. We aren't going anywhere right now. We want to go visit a lot of places. <laughs> Brett and I still need a solo vacation. Don't think that's going to happen this year at all. Um, maybe next year. Um, we also have a friend who friends who live in California, and we want to visit there. We like, would love, like, I think the number one thing is we'd like to go to Ohio, which is, like, just the next day and over. But we usually spend a little extra, go out to eat and stuff while we're there, visiting family. We haven't been able to see them since... December 2019 is the last time I was in Ohio seeing them. Brett went one time, I think, to help his mom with something, but it wasn't at a time where I could go, but Claire could go. So hopefully, hopefully soon we'll be able to travel a little bit. Um, presents, we save $60 a month for presents for friends and family and all that stuff. We have a whole chart set up of how much we can spend for what holiday and stuff like that. Um, $115 is what we are saving for our um, sinking fund for our family's birthday presents, Christmas presents, uh, anniversary, Valentine's Day, like other little holidays. And then we're also saving so that the beginning of next year we can get a children's museum pass for the year because we will have three kids and we will want to find a way to keep them entertained and I love the children's museum so we're saving for that for next year because we'll have the twins next next month so in April ah, we're gonna have the twins here in April and then by next year they'll be like at an age where it'll be more fun to take them Clara already is fun to take her, but she hasn't gotten to go since right before the pandemic. So March, the very beginning of March um, of last year. Anyway, that's just a little side rant there. But anyway, uh, so car and house sinking fund. We are funding that from January through April this year. Um, $300 each month. We are... Um, doing a sinking fund for the twins. We did the same thing with Clara. Any like needs that we're purchasing um, that we don't have like in the room for our budget, um, we will grab from their sinking fund. And we were able with Clara to make it stretch throughout the year. Um, and then we used the excess on her birthday party. I, I don't know if the twins are going to be able to be stretched like that. I think that they should be, but... We'll see. I got some really good sales on some stuff for Clara, and we didn't have to buy double of things. And but we'll see. We have 
I don't know how much is in there right now. There's like, I want to say like six or seven hundred dollars in there. I don't know. Anyway, and then I budgeted a hundred dollars for kid expenses. So the total that we have budgeted is three thousand seven hundred twenty-eight dollars. If all goes to plan, we will have um, four hundred fifteen dollars um, of income. Or hopefully higher <laughs> and then we at the end of the month will have 287 dollars to do with what we please which is such a low month for us i don't really understand why it is that way i'm not sure but um i'm sure that'll be more of the norm once the we have three kids in daycare not looking forward to that but uh yeah anyway so with that, the only thing that we really have planned so far is to put some money towards savings. The bare minimum I want to put is $220. That will get us at, back at $10,000 in our savings. Because if you remember, or if you don't, you can watch some videos back. We took some money out of savings to um, pay for part of Brett's car that he got. We paid for it like we own it without a loan or anything. And then we used $3,000 from it for my um down payment for my car and we have a loan on it so it took us down we didn't have as much in there but now um after this month we should be back at ten thousand and then anything that we have additionally is all good and then if we have anything come up again we'll have the money there but that's that's the plan so with all that being said that is what March is looking like for us. I hope that March is looking good for you. Share your budget goals with me in the comments if you have any. Um, and then if you want to see more videos like this, I do this type of video. And then at the end of the month, I will do a recap. So be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification. You'll see that I do like uh, grocery hauls a lot. I have a twin update coming up soon since I'm 30 weeks with identical twins. Um, and then, I don't know, I do some other videos like freezer videos, things like that, and I fully plan on sharing more, more stuff soon. So, um, you can find me on the internet, otherwise, at The Pretty Plus on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok, as always, on my blog, ThePrettyPlus.com, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!